Hello and welcome to the 14th Tech Tutorial! Woo, yay. Right, have a good look at this notice board I've made, as it's everything you need to produce a force field. And I'll just keep staring at this so you, can look, so you can pause the video. That should be enough. The first thing you need is a good power source. I'd recommend using another expensive for, uh, for survival, but high voltage solar panels you can't go along with. You'll need nearly as many as these, maybe two would probably suffice, but I felt I didn't know how much it required, so I just went overboard. Right, now after that, you need a force field EU injector, which is what is in my hand. It looks a bit odd, mainly probably due to smacks, but all you do is just plug this into the power, and yeah, that's fine. Then, you need this to be on top of it specifically, we place a force field core. Right, now to activate that, because, uh, hold on, you have to right click with nothing in your hands to do it. You can see there's a frequency card slot, so if I put this MF blank MFS card in, you get a frequency card, so it's tuned to this core. Now, to give this power, whoops, uh, that was kind of power, but I didn't mean to do it. To give it power, just place down a lever, and I don't know why that activates, but it does, and it's charging. Looks like a lot of power, but can you even notice it going? No, I would put way too many solar panels down. There, so that's steps one, two, three, and six done. I didn't order these too well. Next thing you need is an area projector, which is this thing. This can go within eight blocks of the EU of no, of this bit. So just pop this down here. Right click on it with nothing in your hands and put in the frequency card. So now it is tuned to that, it is tuned to that. As you can see there's a few settings here, I'm going to adjust this so I don't get locked out of my own force field permanently. And let's have sphere mode, that's fun. Right, and you'll notice nothing's happened. I would go away but I'd probably get lost. So all you have to do is put a lever on it, or give it any kind of redstone signal. Turn it on and look at that, a lovely dome is being generated. Obviously it's a bit of lag because it's a huge, huge dome. About 64 down to or so. There it is. Then there's the optional extras one left. I'm going to just turn this off. No change will come in place to turn it off. Right, now I've got a few things in my hands. I've got a force field zapper upgrade. I've got a camouflage upgrade. A block of gold, water source, and an underwater upgrade. First of all, I'm going to do the zapper upgrade. Very simple, just place it... Uh, next to the area projector and turn it on. You can see it's red now and please don't let me die, 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 please don't let me die. Okay, it doesn't die. It does about two and a half parts of damage every time you get hit. Quite potent, quite potent. Also, I'll turn this down a bit just so I don't have to run so far. Test things. Right, next thing is camouflage upgrades. Now, basically, just put a block in here and activate the force field, and lovely, isn't it? However, gold, nope, nope. You also can't mine it. I don't know why lava looks like it's coming off, but you can't mine it. <laughs> However, it's a very nice trap. You can also use blocks of diamonds and stuff. But it has to be a block within vanilla Minecraft, and not everything works. Right, last one left. I'll turn this off is the underwater upgrade. Now this one could be used pretty cool to, for building. I'll just pop it down next to it. As you can see, no visual differences. But if I were to place some water here and then activate it, see? Gets rid of all water within the dome. Oh also one thing I should probably show off. First oh another thing. Uh, even creative can't get through it. So yeah you're secure. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But oh, as you can see, I knocked the block out there, and look, the force field extends below. It doesn't currently replace blocks. However, there's an upgrade you can get which makes it replace blocks. I can go off creative and search for it. Um, it's very kind of as you'd expect it. There's a dome upgrade which makes it so there's no bottom bit like you just saw. Oh, where is it? Where is it? might be under MFFS actually. But all the upgrades you'll find for it are under MFFS or 
Hmm, I can't find it. Or maybe I've just looked past it, which someone will probably tell me I have done. Um, it's called the Cutter Upgrade or something like that. You know what I'm all about when you see it, though. Ah, there. Cutter Upgrade. Right, so let's deactivate this. Um, place it on top. Right, now watch. It has replaced all the blocks below here. All of them. I wonder if it goes... Oh wait, I'm not in creative mode. No! Well, I think I'll call it that for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do any of that. Is my dome this way? Yeah, yeah, I haven't lost my dome. Anyways, goodbye for now.